Hello friend, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss what how to update and save files in Csr Windows application. So here I already created one Windows so form and here we need to drag uh, three control. The first is uh, text box. So right here text and drag into the form and here uh, there is uh, one important uh, property we need to uh, make that multi line into true to false so here let's uh, uh, select once again so multi line going to make uh, false to true now let's uh, make that bigger after uh, enable the property of multi line now here after we need to here button control so right here button drag this uh, button into the form and uh, here after make that little uh, bigger and click there here you can see somewhere text property so at this place so uh, going to write here save now after doing this there is uh, one control that uh, I need to this uh, control label control so label drag into the form and uh, here so here the text property of label going to make that blank now here after we need to double click on this uh, save button and here button one click event that open now here I already written code so let's uh, copy this and uh, paste it here inside the button one click now here so a stream writer this is the class let's uh, click on uh, so potential fixes so here I need to system dot io namespace because a stream writer class definition comes under system dot io namespace now here you can see there is no any error and other namespace that not required so let's uh, remove this now this uh, for namespace that required and here a stream writer so if you take the cursor on a stream writer so here implement text writer writing character on a stream particular encoding so it is used to write the text okay so here tw is the object new stream writer and here i specified this location and uh, text file you can use the text uh, file doc file or uh, any xml file whatever file you want but extension if you want to use xml then give the extension dot xml if you want to use xl dot give xls and uh, here i am going to show you the path so see adam desktops on the desktop here you can see there is the one folder on the desktop now here you can see hello dot text file is there now here after the next is tw write text so whatever we are going to write that comes under comes into this text box and uh, here we need to we can write any kind of text and here when user click uh, on the button then click event fire and there that uh, message should be display file saves successfully and here after i used a random class so it is used to uh, generate random color so r is the object and uh, here label dot for color color from argb here r so next uh, that come the co range that come 0 to 56 0 to 56 0 and after doing this all that going to close here is stream right class now let's uh, run this code and uh, see the output So here there is no any problem with this code and here you can see build started windows form configuration debug any cpu and uh, 
if this all correct so here the form is going to load now here you can see this is the form now here I'm going to write to something like uh, hello world hello world now if I click on the save then here I got the message file save successfully so here you can uh, just uh, this is the location hello here dot go to gems and here you can see hello world it's a display now here after so let's uh, do any changes writing here hi michael now if i click on the save here you can see due to random color random class the color of label that to uh, change when click event that fire so this time here i change uh, so this time that i change here you can see hello hi michael okay so if uh, user does not enter anything then that to uh, save here blank space and is time click here you can see click event that fire and due to random class the level of color that changes always now here you can see hello this is uh, with blank because user does not enter any values now here let's give uh, uh, c sharp tutorial now here when user click then click event fire and color of uh, label that changed you can see here the file here this are tutorial it's come there so this is the way we can here add it to the file contents and uh, save and there is one more important thing so here if you want to change the this is the for color of label if you want then you can change the background color of this form so that topic i will discuss in my next video so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see next week thank you